Happy Well is this algorithm, very clever algorithm that will um, use facial recognition software to uh, identify individuals um, based on pre-existing records in the database. So if it's seen this fluke before, it has a very high chance of matching that fluke to a known animal. Um, we're talking 97, 98, 99 percent success rate and it's incredibly fast as well. So we've imported the image here of, um, of our whale that we we want to find out who it is. In Maui this is always the fun part where we can put these through and then see who comes back. There we go. And it comes up as Southeast Alaska number 1789. Um, that's how quickly it'll go through and hundreds of thousands of images find the fluke. It's not a particularly distinctive fluke. It's about 71 percent confident and we can then uh, visually confirm these um, which is a lot quicker, a lot more efficient with our time allowing us to do other things. And it's revolutionized the work that we do. The um, traditional way of doing these things was we would have a human sit down, take the photos they've taken for the day and then flip through a, a catalog essentially of 3,000 individual flukes and they would have to go through and just find the one that matches. It just means we can now track these individuals over much wider um, areas between Hawaii, uh, Southeast Alaska, uh, Russia, Aleutians, throughout the entire North Pacific. So right now, out of the 560-odd um, flukes that we've obtained in, in Hawaii the last couple of years, um, this is where they've been seen. So the strongest signal for sure is Southeast Alaska here. So of those 563 individuals, They've been seen a total of over 1,800 times in Hawaii alone. Uh, but you see it's spreading a little bit. So Southeast Alaska, we have British Columbia would be the second strongest signal. You'll see some of them are going across between Hawaii and Mexico, which is uh, interesting considering this is a, a threatened population in Mexico itself. But we also have animals from Russia and the Aleutians. Um, we have more and more individuals being put into this database. It allows researchers to share data, collaborate together, all for a, a common cause. Um, just allowing us to uh, not be in our bubbles as much, but also allowing us to, to get more answers out there together. But there's this one centralized um, database that now researchers can use one reference. I think it's been around since around 2015. The algorithm took a long time to develop. People like Ted Cheeseman have been extremely instrumental for this and everybody's working together now with him and Happy Whale to make sure that we keep feeding the algorithm more and more information to get it better and better. And we're including dorsal fin images now to make sure that we can start matching animals that are not fluking. So Happy Whale is not just for researchers and scientists, it's also for the general public uh, to contribute their images which are just as important. And the cool thing about Happy Whale is there's a portal there you can submit your images your fluke images when you get them either doesn't matter where you are in the world and that way you submit your image your location the time and you'll get an email notification back saying hey this is a new whale to science you could probably name it or we know this whale already thanks for submitting and we can send you updates on that whale if you're interested in the future and on the side here you can see the different contributors to that whale and sometimes these whales are seen many, many, many different times. And this is all information that's useful because we can see how long an animal is hanging around on the feeding grounds, on the breeding grounds. Was it seen with a calf one year? Uh, did it show up with a new scar of some kind? All these different things are all important parts of the overall puzzle. And the, the general public has a very strong role to play in that alongside scientists.